a team of scientists entered a restricted area in Chernobyl and made a shocking discovery that could change everything we know about the disaster. This story is everywhere, but it's not being covered. Watch what they discovered in the Forbidden Forest. The heavy iron gates of the Chernobyl exclusion zone groaned open, breaking the eerie silence that had settled over the abandoned landscape. Dr. Alexei Kovalenko stepped out of the battered van, his breath visible in the crisp morning air. The Ukrainian scientist adjusted his protective gear, his movements deliberate and practiced after years of research in this haunting environment. The weight of history pressed down on Alexei's shoulders as he took in the scene before him. Pripyat, once a thriving city of nearly 50,000 people, now stood as a ghostly testament to the catastrophic events of April 26, 1986. The abandoned Ferris wheel, its rusted frame reaching towards the sky like a skeletal hand, served as a poignant reminder of the lives abruptly halted, dreams left unfulfilled. But today was different. After months of meticulous planning and careful negotiations, Alexei and his team were venturing into an area of the zone that had remained unexplored for decades. The old Soviet military installation on the outskirts of the exclusion zone had been off-limits, its contents a mystery even to those who had dedicated their lives to studying Chernobyl's aftermath. As they approached the compound, Alexei's Geiger counter began to crackle with increased intensity. He frowned, double-checking the readings. The levels were higher than expected, but still within the range they had prepared for. With a nod to his team, they began to set up their equipment, the weight of scientific curiosity and apprehension hanging heavy in the air. Little did Alexei know that what lay behind those rusted doors would challenge everything he thought he knew about Chernobyl's legacy and potentially rewrite the very history of the disaster itself. Alexei Kovalenko had been just a boy when the Chernobyl disaster struck in 1986. Growing up in Kiev, he had vivid memories of the confusion and fear that gripped the nation in the wake of the explosion. The silence of the authorities, the whispered conversations between adults, and the sudden, unexplained evacuation of his cousins from Pripyat had left an indelible mark on his young mind. He remembered the spring day when the news finally broke, the gravity of the situation dawning on the faces of his parents as they huddled around the radio. The world seemed to shift on its axis, colors dulling and sounds muffling as the magnitude of the disaster became clear. Young Alexei, with his curious mind and eager heart, couldn't comprehend the full implications then, but he felt the tremors of change rippling through his family and community. As he grew older, Alexei's curiosity about the disaster turned into a passionate pursuit of answers. He threw himself into his studies, earning degrees in nuclear physics and environmental science. His doctoral thesis on the long-term ecological impacts of radiation exposure in the exclusion zone had garnered international attention, opening doors to research opportunities that would have been unthinkable just a few years earlier. For the past decade, Alexei had been a fixture in the zone, leading teams of scientists from around the world in ongoing studies of how the environment was adapting to the disaster's aftermath. His work had contributed to groundbreaking discoveries about radiation-resistant fungi and the unexpected resurgence of wildlife in the absence of human activity. But despite years of research, Alexei felt that they had only scratched the surface of Chernobyl's mysteries. The old military installation had always nagged at him, a blank spot on the map that seemed to defy explanation. Why had it remained sealed off, even as other areas of the zone were open to scientific exploration? It had taken years of petitioning, leveraging his scientific reputation and calling in every favor he had accumulated, but finally, Alexei had secured permission to enter the compound. The official explanation was that they would be conducting a standard radiation survey, but Alexei's true motivations ran deeper. Rumors had long circulated among the stalkers, illegal explorers who snuck into the zone, about strange phenomena associated with the military installation. Stories of unexplained lights, equipment malfunctions, and even time distortions were dismissed by most as the product of overactive imaginations and vodka-fueled campfire tales. But Alexei couldn't shake the feeling that there might be a kernel of truth hidden within the legends. As he and his team set up their equipment outside the compound's main building, 
Alexei's mind raced with possibilities. What if the military had been conducting secret experiments related to the nearby nuclear plant? Could there be undocumented technology or materials that had survived the disaster? The door to the compound stood before them, its once imposing security features now corroded and defeated by time. Alexei took a deep breath, steeling himself for whatever lay beyond. He knew that what they discovered here today could potentially reshape our understanding of Chernobyl's history and its ongoing impact on the world. With a nod to his team, Alexei reached for the door handle, the metal cold beneath his gloved hand. The moment of truth had arrived. The hinges protested as Alexei pushed the door open, releasing a gust of stale air that carried the musty scent of decades of abandonment. Flashlight beams cut through the gloom, revealing a scene frozen in time. Desks covered in a thick layer of dust, walls lined with faded Soviet-era posters, and rows of filing cabinets that seemed to beckon with their secrets. As the team moved deeper into the facility, their Geiger counters maintained a steady, elevated rhythm. Alexei's trained eye scanned for anything out of the ordinary, his scientific mind cataloging every detail. It was in a back room, past what appeared to be a makeshift laboratory, that they made their first startling discovery. A large, cylindrical device dominated the center of the room, its purpose not immediately apparent. Closer inspection revealed a tangle of wires and tubes, connecting it to a bank of computers that looked far more advanced than anything that should have been present in the mid-1980s. Dr. Kovalenko, one of his assistants called out, her voice trembling with excitement. You need to see this. She handed him a logbook, its pages yellowed but still legible. As Alexei began to read, his eyes widened in disbelief. The document detailed a series of experiments conducted in the months leading up to the Chernobyl disaster, experiments that seemed to defy the known laws of physics. The scientists at this secret facility had been working on a revolutionary method of harnessing nuclear energy, one that promised to be far more efficient and safe than traditional reactors. The log spoke of quantum tunneling and zero-point energy extraction, concepts that were decades ahead of their time. But it was the final entries that made Alexei's blood run cold. The team had achieved a breakthrough just days before the disaster, one that they believed could revolutionize energy production worldwide. In their excitement, they had pushed for an immediate, full-scale test at the nearby Chernobyl plant. The implications were staggering. The disaster that had shaped Alexei's life, that had altered the course of history, might not have been the result of a flawed reactor design or human error as the world had been led to believe. Instead, it could have been caused by the unforeseen consequences of tampering with forces beyond their full understanding. As the team continued to explore, they uncovered more evidence supporting this incredible theory. Technical drawings, radiation readings that defied conventional explanation, and even a sealed container that, when carefully opened, revealed a material unlike anything Alexei had ever encountered a substance that seemed to pulse with an inner energy, defying the laws of radioactive decay. It looked like a giant worm with multiple arms and legs, but alive was not a word Alexei or anyone else would have used to describe it. Was this the breakthrough his predecessors had achieved? What was this thing, and what was it supposed to do? Alexei didn't have the answers, but the weight of the discovery settled over him like a physical force nonetheless. He realized that what they had uncovered here could potentially rewrite the history books, challenging decades of accepted knowledge about the Chernobyl disaster and its aftermath. But it also raised troubling questions about accountability, secrecy, and the potential for this knowledge to be misused. As the sun began to set over the exclusion zone, casting long shadows across the abandoned landscape, Alexei gathered his team. The excitement of discovery was tempered by the enormous responsibility they now bore. What we've found here today, he began, his voice steady despite the turmoil of emotions within him, has the potential to change everything we thought we knew about Chernobyl, about nuclear energy, and perhaps about the very nature of physics itself. But we must proceed with the utmost caution and integrity. He looked each member of his team in the eye, seeing the same mix of awe and apprehension reflected back at him. This story is everywhere around us, he continued, 
gesturing to the silent buildings and overgrown streets of Pripyat. It's in the soil, the air, the very fabric of this place, but it's not being covered, not in the way it deserves. It's up to us to ensure that the truth comes to light, responsibly and thoroughly. As they began the painstaking process of documenting their findings and securing the site, Alexei's mind raced with the implications of their discovery. He knew that the journey they were embarking on would be long and fraught with challenges. There would be those who would try to suppress this information, and others who might seek to exploit it for their own gain. He couldn't even try and imagine what people would do or even think of the weird substance they'd found, but he was sure many people would try to get their hands on it. It was his duty to protect it, and the prospect was daunting. But as he watched the last light of day fade over the horizon, Alexei felt a sense of purpose stronger than any he had experienced in his long career. The truth about Chernobyl, complex, terrifying, and awe-inspiring, was finally emerging from the shadows, and he would dedicate every ounce of his being to ensuring that the world would watch, learn, and ultimately understand the full scope of what had been discovered in this haunting, forgotten corner of Ukraine. The story of Chernobyl, Alexei realized, was far from over. In many ways, it was only just beginning. As the team carefully packed up their equipment and prepared to leave the compound, Alexei found himself drawn to a small, dusty photograph frame lying face down on one of the desks. He picked it up gently, wiping away years of grime to reveal a faded image of a group of scientists, their faces beaming with pride and excitement. How many dreams, how many lives, had been shattered by the events that followed that supposed breakthrough. The thought sent shivers to his spine. As they made their way back through the abandoned streets of Pripyat, Alexei's mind whirled with the enormity of their discovery. The eerie silence of the ghost town seemed to press in on him, as if the very air was heavy with secrets long buried. He thought of the thousands of lives disrupted, the families torn apart, the generations marked by the invisible scars of radiation, all potentially stemming from a scientific breakthrough that had spiraled out of control. Back at their makeshift base camp on the outskirts of the exclusion zone, Alexei and his team spent the night poring over the data they had collected. The more they analyzed, the more apparent it became that they were dealing with something far beyond the scope of conventional nuclear physics. As dawn broke, casting a pale light over the desolate landscape, Alexei made a decision. He gathered his team, their faces etched with exhaustion and excitement. What we've uncovered here is bigger than any one of us, he began, his voice low but intense. It's bigger than our careers, our reputations, or even our personal safety. We have a responsibility to the world, to history, to those who suffered and continue to suffer from the effects of Chernobyl. He outlined a plan, a careful, methodical approach to verifying their findings, cross-referencing historical records, and gradually bringing their discoveries to light. It would be a delicate balance, navigating the complex web of international politics, scientific skepticism, and potential danger from those who might want to keep these secrets buried. As they packed up their camp and prepared for the journey back to Kiev, Alexei felt a mix of emotions he had never experienced before. There was fear, certainly, fear of the unknown, of the potential consequences of their actions. But there was also an overwhelming sense of purpose, a feeling that he was standing at the crossroads of history, with the power to illuminate a truth long hidden in the shadows. The Chernobyl exclusion zone faded in their rearview mirror, but its presence loomed larger than ever in Alexei's mind. He knew that the journey ahead would be long and fraught with challenges. There would be skeptics to convince, powerful interests to navigate, and complex scientific concepts to communicate to the world. But as the first buildings of Kyiv appeared on the horizon, Alexei felt a surge of determination. The story of Chernobyl, its true story, deserved to be told. And he would be the one to tell it, no matter the cost. The days, weeks, and months that followed were a whirlwind of activity. Alexei and his team worked tirelessly, often behind closed doors, to verify and expand upon their initial findings. They reached out to trusted colleagues around the world, building a network of experts who could help piece together the complex puzzle they had uncovered. As they prepared to go public with their discoveries, Alexei knew that the world would never be the same. The story of Chernobyl, 
long considered a closed chapter in history, was about to be rewritten. And with it, perhaps, would come a new understanding of our place in the universe and the awesome, terrible power we wield. As he sat down to draft the paper that would shake the scientific world to its core, Alexei felt the weight of history on his shoulders. But he also felt a sense of hope. Hope that from the ashes of Chernobyl's tragedy, a new light of understanding might emerge, guiding humanity towards a future where such disasters could be prevented and the power of the atom could be harnessed for the benefit of all. The story of Chernobyl was far from over. In many ways, it was only just beginning. And Alexei Kovalenko, the boy who had once trembled at the news of a distant explosion, now stood ready to tell that story to the world. What a shocking finding. What do you think was that slimy thing? Have you ever stumbled upon a discovery that challenged everything you thought you knew? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And thank you for joining us on this thrilling journey into the heart of one of history's greatest mysteries.